a popular attraction in Lorraine, has been attracting trouble. After a series of fights and disturbances at Mile Long Pier, the Lorraine Port and Finance Authority is making adjustments to crack down on crime. News 5's Catherine Ross explains the efforts and what anglers and boaters think about all the changes. You'd be wore out catching these fish for their fighters. Arthur Smith, or Smitty, as he's known on the lake, has been reeling in fish from this Lorraine spot for decades. Oh, well, I'm 62 now, and I've been coming out here since I was about 10. Just like the storms that roll over Lake Erie, he says stretches of turbulence roll into the area from time to time. This summer has been one of those times, and trouble near Mile Long Pier has Smitty fishing less after dark. I would fish right over here with the husky jerk catch walleye at night, you know. But I just, you know, the world's getting crazy. So I'd rather play it safe and fish in the day. This month, the Lorraine Port and Finance Authority is addressing those concerns. Executive Director Tom Brown wasn't available for an on-camera interview Wednesday, but he tells us large groups congregating in the long parking lot overnight have been leaving litter, causing disturbances, and in some cases, violence. It's why the Port Authority, Lorraine Police, and Oasis Marinas are teaming up to increase patrols, use surveillance cameras, and close public parking in the pier's north lot after dusk. It's been an adjustment for some anglers like Smith. It makes it hard on the older people to have to walk down here. Not myself, but quite a few friends that uh, can't be here now. Despite some confusion from people who use the pier, the Port Authority tells me it's their goal to make sure the pier remains as accessible as possible for the general public. And even though the parking lot will be closed earlier, the pier itself will remain open. Brown shared this aerial photo with us showing the nighttime restricted parking. Marina slip holders are still able to park in the north lot. Eventually, Brown says the Port Authority hopes to install a gate with key fob access. In a statement to the public, he says, quote, we just need to do our best to eliminate the nonsense that has become dangerous to each of you. This is not in any way closing the pier to the fishing community or to anyone else. Brown points out most public parks close completely after dark. That's not the Port Authority's plan, and he says there have been improvements since the changes rolled out. Boaters and anglers like Smitty tell us they'll continue to enjoy their access to the Great Lake. It has a lot to offer. It really does. I come out here and the first thing I do is thank the Lord for all we got. In Lorraine, Catherine Ross, News 5.